Hello everyone and welcome to another Pokemon Go video. This time I have something special for you guys. The amazing people from the company Wondershare has organized an event regarding Pokemon Go spoofing and how you the Pokemon Go players can stay safe during coronavirus outbreak. So in this video I will walk you through the event how you guys can participate on it to win free Pokecoins. Yes, you guys heard me right. They are giving away up to 12,000 Pokecoins in this event. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and tap on the notification bell to get amazing videos like this every single week. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, click the first link in the description box below and it will take you to this website. Okay, uh, so the first one that you can see here is the Wondershare website and uh, it's uh, basically the Dr. Phone's website and uh, from here you guys can actually download Dr. Phone to spoof. So let's see what the event is about. It's about Pokemon Go fans, stay safe, play safe. Okay, so Niantic hates the coronavirus, we also do because we cannot go out to play Pokemon Go. So let's, uh, so let's explore how to play Pokemon Go safely. Okay, so join now and win 12,000 Pokecoins. Yes, 12,000 guys, 12,000. Okay, so vote and win Pokecoins. Um, safety tips for Pokemon fans, okay. And then voices of fans. So they have three different sections, okay. So the first one, which is this one, part one, vote and chance to win 12,000 Pokecoins. Okay, so what does this event is about? Okay, so what Niantic did to protect Pokemon goers. Niantic did have some game tweaks and actions to sweet the trend of staying at home, but many thought that Niantic did was far from enough. Yeah, it's true, Niantic didn't do enough to keep people like, keep the Pokemon goers to stay uh, at home. So as you guys all know, Pokemon Go is basically um, about going out adventuring and catching Pokemons out there. But now that the coronavirus outbreak, uh, we cannot go out to play Pokemon Go, right? So they should do something about this. They should let us play uh, while we are sitting inside. We're getting bored, man, come on. So uh, will Niantic adapt its rules to in-house gameplay? So, okay, so 32,596 Pokemon Goers has participated in this vote and this vote will be this event the whole event will be uh, open till april 6th so you guys have to go before april 6th and th uh, that's how you can actually win 12,000 pokemon poke coins okay so um yeah this is a question will niantic adapt its rules to in-house gameplay okay so most of the people has said yes as you guys can see okay i'll say yes as well let's Let's do it. Okay, submit. Successfully submitted. 10 lucky winners will be disclosed on February 6th on our Facebook page. So don't forget guys, don't forget to go to their Facebook page and uh, like it. Because um, after this, uh, when the event is over, you guys have to like go here and click um, like they will actually announce the winners here. So make sure you hit the like button there so that uh, you guys get notified about the event. Okay, um, let's go down. Now for the safety tips. Part 2 is safety tips for Pokemon fans. Okay. So what you guys can do is uh, you guys can use Dr. Phone Virtual Location iOS. I have a video which explains everything about that software, particular software. I will link it here. There will be a card up here. You can just click here, click it here and um, it will take you to that video. And then uh, you guys can download for Windows and um, with your iPhone devices, you guys can actually spoof, uh, spoof directly from your uh, home. And then there's fake location for Android, which is we all know. It's a very popular one. I have uh, several methods. I will link the playlist here also. And then FGL Pro, I also made videos on that too. iOS Teleporter, I didn't actually made a video about this, but I will soon. Then Ice Poofer for iOS. Okay, so these are the methods that we can use right now to actually Play Pokemon Go from inside. 
Spoofing or not, that's a question actually. But uh, since we cannot go out, we cannot just sit here. Okay, so tips to keep Pokemon Go account safe when spoofing. So this is another part which we should all follow. First, day, first is use older version of Pokemon Go app, follow the cooldown time it takes to teleport to somewhere. I also have a video on cooldown if you guys uh, are like okay what is cooldown you guys can check out this video here the card is right here. And then um, use a separate Pokemon Go account to minimize the risks. Yeah everyone should do that. Always start the spoofer and the Pokemon Go and close Pokemon Go and then the spoofer. Okay, so if you guys are an Android user and and take an Android simulator like Bluestacks or Nox player instead of your phone to ensure more safety. Okay, so now for the don'ts. Don't use the teleporter mode too often for long distance location jumping and then uh, don't use too fast speed for GPS movement simulation and then don't design your route crossing mountains, river or large buildings. Be natural. Don't use the Pokemon Go spoofers for a long time. Don't use the spoofers if you're already receiving warnings or some low level bans. Because right now Niantic knows people can't go out, right? So if they see a lot of people going from California to New York or like uh, from India to somewhere around the world or from Bangladesh to Malaysia or Singapore. So these things will actually cause a lot of problems and uh, Niantic will get suspicious and then they can actually ban your account permanently so make sure that you actually play around your local area and uh, uh, play less okay so pokemon go outdoors uh, okay so this one you guys have to take enough uh, precautions wear medical mask protective goggles hat and enough clothes and also gloves try to play alone in the field by keeping away from crowds or even other players Watch out for coughing and sneezing people around you, stay away or go home directly. Try to stay in your car if you determine, uh, if you determine to participate in raids. Try to walk or drive to your destination. When back home, wash hands with soap for at least 20 seconds and clean your phone with 75% alcohol. Don'ts Don't touch your face, eyes, nose and mouth during gameplay outside. Don't shake hands, let others or let others touch your phone or talk closely with other persons. Don't pass by crowded areas, hospitals and public transit stations. Don't drink or eat in a restaurant. Don't hang out too long outside with others. Don't hold back the facts from your doctor and family if you have cough or a fever. So these are the precautions, do's and don'ts you have to take if you go outside and play Pokemon Go. But I will rather stay at home uh, than go outside because it's the outbreak is getting more and more out of the control. So please stay at home and spoof. Yeah, don't go outside right now. It's very dangerous. So yeah, uh, so you guys can comment down here how coronavirus uh, affects your Pokemon Go habits. Uh, okay, some people has already commented. So yeah, this is all the for the event and this event will be happening till April 6th. So go ahead, click the link in the description box below, the first link in the description box below and stand a chance to win 12,000 Pokecoins. Thank you Wondershare for actually uh, organizing this event. It's really help for uh, Pokemon goers like us that actually don't know about all, uh, a lot of safety stuff and uh, about all the spoofing methods. So they described a lot about this kind of spoofing methods here. You guys can actually click the cards there and uh, also I have a very big playlist of Pokemon Go hacks. You guys can go ahead check that out how to how you can actually get um, Pokemon Go trackers in 2020 and uh, how what are the best places to spoof and what are the best methods out there. Okay so that's it from me and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and make sure to like this video and comment down below if you have any questions regarding this event or any other methods. I'll be really happy to help you guys and um, yeah stay safe.